Black people are here around the world and it's evident Cause we are moved from slavery to president Everybody say I am wonderful I am wonderful I believe in myself I will be the greatest that I can be Tell us some of the issues that the young people are facing. Peer pressure, problems studying, being bullied. I think the economy is affecting us badly. A big issue that we are having is making the right choices. We tend to go in unethical directions and making the wrong decisions. But I think that's where the church and family ethics and morals need to step in. Discrimination. Everyone is thinking differently of people just because of how they look, how they act. What kind of discrimination because of the way you look? Give me an example of what happened. Um, so just because you don't fit in, you're not the normal person, you don't have the pretty, pretty features. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. What, what is a pretty feature? Like if your hair ain't pretty enough, if you ain't... What is, what is the hair? My bum them talk there, you know? Now, hold up. What is... Hold up, don't start me today. Glenmere, discrimination, what is pretty hair? Well, not only at Glenmere, but all around. Pretty hair, the long, you know, long hair. You mean the, the, hair. the long Chinese Indian yeah, hair? the bouncy hair. So yes, that is, that oh, you're talking about, oh, want to make me stand up and talk. Yeah. Hold on. So, you all continue the colonial masters slavery that they injected into you, that your black, beautiful, sexy, kinky hair from kings and queens of Africa is not pretty? That is what you're going to contribute into society? But it's true, isn't it? Anybody ever hear your black like? Well, let me tell you, from today, I want you all to say with me, we both pretty hair talk. My black kinky hair is beautiful. That's how God made me. That's how God made me. And I say me. One thing I have noticed with our Jamaican youths, we don't appreciate ourselves. We spend more time trying to make ourselves look differently than trying to just be ourselves. We need to know that we are beautiful just the way we are while trying to change yourself. As a member of the OCR body, where we collect the child abuse cases, I'm well aware of the grave things that happen to our nation's children. Now, what are they? Many of us might not be able to identify with some of them, but it's the reality. There is negligence. Parents sending their children out on the road to work, that's child labor. Parents beating their children as if they're not children who need love and care. That's physical abuse. Emotional abuse, you're telling me that I'm ugly and black and don't have proper hair? That's abuse too. There are so many different forms of abuse and our children suffer from them. No. One of the main reasons why I'm so concerned about what I'm going to say is because I'm a parent. We we'll focus on educating the youths, the kids, yeah? And we we'll miss a very important part of the puzzle where we're supposed to focus more on educating the guardian and the parents. So them know, so them not abuse the youth them in the first place. You, when you were a youth bugle, are the issues the same today that you're hearing when you were younger? It's the same thing, or maybe it's getting worse too. Mm. Mm. Yeah. All I, right. Like, I've been seeing it. Me come from Corville Garden, you know, the art of the garrison where we see all of the negative things them take place. Mm -hmm. So me know exactly what the youth them I got through because me been through it. What, what would you offer? What, what do the young people need to come out of this downwards, you know, movement of, of, of all these issues that they're, some of them, inflicting upon themselves? Well, this is the solution. Talk of youth. Good evening. 
Um, one of the major challenges that we as young girls and teenagers and boys also um, is acne, is the problem of discrimination against acne. Um, when I was in first form, the children in my class used to make me feel like I was an outcast because they used to say I was ugly and I used to cry every day and when I go home I used to put my head on the pillow and cry and say I want to kill myself and nobody, I had nobody to talk to. But then I realized that I am special and I'm not the one that made me have acne. I'm not the one that made me have bumps on my face or spots. So I'm saying to everybody that you should have a high self-esteem, high self-confidence because at the end of the day, it's not the acne that is going to, it's not, what, it's not the pretty face or the clear skin is going to make you get work. It's the knowledge that you have up here. So I want to empower everybody that has acne um, and spots on their face as I do, that um, you are not different, you are just like everybody else. Thank you. I love you, and I think you're one of the most beautiful girls. I didn't even see any acne, so when you started talking to me, I said, what's your talk about? And I love that. Stay strong, lady. I felt you. I know. I feel you. I get very emotional because I know how she's feeling, and I need you guys to stop picking on each other and uplift each other, and we cannot judge a book by its cover. All right? All right. Well, I'm on the next the world go around. Talk about the economy, you. What's going on and what do we need to do to fix our economy? I think that uh, we need better leaders to help fix the economy. The better economy is in this state because we keep on borrowing and borrowing. So I'm saying if each Jamaican person is taught to work for himself and become entrepreneurs, then we are able to stimulate our economy. Most of our smart people in Jamaica, they are migrating where they can get better resources. They do not want to stay in Jamaica and help and push our economy. We all should stop blaming the government entirely and one, prioritize, two, act our financial status because rich people stay rich because they act poor. Poor people stay poor because they try to act rich. Everybody want to make some money or get some money or take some money from somewhere. For economic advice, we're talking about taking control of our resources. So one of the first things that students will have to do is for one week, take a stock of all the expenses and income that you've been earning for that week. So chart out everything that you've spent on. So lunch money, bus fare, Transportation, just calculate that. And after that, create a budget. Budget is very important. Stick to that budget and stick to it to the T. Also, saving. Making friends with people within the community. That will save you on the travel expenses such as car food, you may save on gas and atmosphere. And also, learn how to cook. How many of you here can cook? So take it, take it here, lunch to school, a homemade meal is definitely more pain than having to spend on lunch every single day and also on transportation. If you save $50 a day for 365 days for the year, after that year, how much do you think you earn? $80,250. By simply saving only $50 a day out of your lunch money, that's just $50 out of your lunch money, you can be able to almost pay your entire school fee on your own. That's being resourceful. So when people talk about them not the money for school fees and them buying the, the certain drinks that cost 150 on the road, they buy six of them at night time. The other things they love to put in the hand middle that costs money for buy too. Miss, I want to clarify the term economy. Oh, sorry. So, the, um, the, the man named Honorable Horace Borrell who could have been earning many money right now because a long time he could have put on Jeremy and Tuffy Anderson for Jamaica fee. I could have earned enough money right now. A two time he go up on the field for a long time and he just come up on the field and score some goal. And we tell us that today he must mash up USA and we never joke with them. Miss, 
mean, I remember when you were coaching him right now about the CNG. Tofia chant, and we are earning little money right now. So if they go take off Tofia and the same game, if we go pan straight and take off Oris Borel off for the Football Association. Wow. I know me say, talk up you, Miss Effie. About the issue that the sixth form down there was talking about that the Persons must uplift themselves and like get out of the box and work. About that, you have like men who are working, but the police are still killing them innocently. Like, for example, the Tivoli Gardens issue. Too many innocent people are dying from this country. We need to make a stand and make the police know that. Leave the people, may they live their life. They're trying to make a living. They can't just kill them like that. It's wrong. We just need to let them know that. I have to ask you, have you, have you lost anybody by the gun or by police? Tell us real quick, who? My cousin, Orlando Sterling. Tell me what happened, real quick. He was involved in like some friendship on his friend, like told lies on him and police came and shoot him right in his head about several times. How did that affect you? I was very strict. I was... It's all right, baby. All right, it's okay. We're here for you, okay? And if you want to talk to us afterwards, you can. Okay, baby? Okay. This issue of police brutality and us, all of us. I lost an uncle two weeks too. Shot him in his head, going home with his wife. And we all of us lose somebody every day, innocently, by the gun. And we have to change that situation. We have to stand up and start screaming. Remember, we're here for you. Our Talk Up Youth offers free counseling to young people. You can go on our website and our Facebook page. You can get a mentor and a counselor that will talk to you on live chat. If you send in a counseling form, then we'll get one of our counselors to reach out and respond to you as well. <sighs> Who love themselves? Who believe in themselves? The mic can't turn up no more. Cause if you turn right, you blame them. So don't blame life, blame the way you are. Father God never sleeping, working, don't make mistakes So let me turn the friends and men just surrounding with Yeah man, you blame life, you blame who oh, give it Don't blame life, blame the way of you Father God never sleeping, working, don't make mistakes So blame me turn the friends and men just surrounding with Who know this, do this, come and say pass better Some of them trying to be perfect like a job later Believe in a giant, keep me one When the heat and drive is for a man